everyone, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Ashley, and here on my channel I talk all about embroidery, applique, sublimation, Etsy, and running your own small business from home. Um, so welcome. Um, if you're not already a subscriber, we'd love to have you subscribe to our channel um, so you don't miss any future content. So today I'm going to be bringing you guys along just with a work with me type video on a Friday. Um, terrible time management this week and lots of other things going on in just life and everything. Pregnancy, appointments, all the things. Um, and I'm running behind this week. So I have a ton to do today. Way more than I would like to do in one single day. But gotta do what you gotta do, right? So we have like only like five or six applique shirts to do. My kids shop has been very slow. Very, very slow. Um, but that's probably a good thing. <laughs> I don't like my shops being slow, but um, it gives me more time to focus on other things that are actually more profitable. So my jacket shop, however, has really picked up here lately. Um, I've added some new styles of jackets, added some fleece styles back in that I said I wasn't going to. Um, things you got to do when stock and inventory are out in your best sellers, like 100% out. Um, they're starting to trickle back in, so hopefully I'll get some orders here soon for those um, as I'm able to add them. But for now, I have like, I don't know, there's like 30 some orders that need to ship. I don't know how many jackets that translates to um, because some of them are multiple items. But we've got a lot to do today. Um, we'll be running all three machines. I'll probably do, like usual, just one 10 needle on uh, applique to start with. If I can get through those pretty quickly, then I'll switch them all three to just straight embroidery. That'll go a lot faster. Um, this is one of those days that I almost wish I had another machine, um, but that's not the cards right now. Maybe someday. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. You saw me already go ahead and get everything prepped for the day. I like to um, prep my stabilizer, um, cut what I use for the kids' shirts, and pull over just some poly mesh. I use poly mesh and tearaway on all my kids' shirts. Honestly, I use that on 99% of the things I embroider. And then um, I prepped my fast frames for my jackets. Um, I use 6x6 six six fast frames, 7x7 seven seven, um, tearaway stabilizer that I just tape with masking tape to those. Um, and then I use a 6x6 piece, six six piece of poly mesh. Um, like I said, like on everything. Occasionally I'll double the poly mesh on something that's um, super dense fill or on a lighter weight jacket um, that I just know is needs a little extra. But otherwise, that's all I use on pretty much everything. Um, the other thing that I need to do today is finish up my daughter's birthday dress mm -hmm. for tomorrow. Um, her birthday's tomorrow, so when I'm recording this, so I need to do that today too. Um, that'll probably be, unfortunately, last on my list for the day. I'll probably be doing that late tonight, um, just so I make sure I get orders shipped, and then I can do that late tonight, early tomorrow morning, whatever. Um, for her party tomorrow. So lots to do, lots to get done. Let's go ahead and get started.
guys so quick update before lunch i have actually got through quite a bit this morning it is like 11 50 just before lunch like i said i'm gonna go take a break have lunch put my daughter down for a nap probably um i've got through about half of my jackets i have 16 left to go i got through all the shirts i need to do that i have i'm missing one shirt um it's ordered it's just not here yet so i'm gonna have to update that ship by date um, and same with one jacket, the customer had changed sizes, so she knew it was going to be possibly delayed. Um, so I just updated that ship date. Um, I do that just so I keep in good standing with Etsy. Um, but I update my customers anyways, even if I wasn't manually changing those dates. Um, but 16 jackets left to go for this afternoon. That should be pretty good. I've actually done a good job of, you can see my stack of jackets back there. I've been trying to trim, fold, and put them in the shipping bag like the clear bag with their um like order receipt um, or packing slip whatever you want to call it as i go um that kind of keeps me on track a little bit better even though it kind of slows the actual production down it just keeps me um on task i guess so that way when at the end of the day <laughs> i'm not looking at 2 30 and i have nothing ready to ship um, that way I, I can at least ship what's already physically done and then everything else can just go out tomorrow and be dropped off tomorrow um it just keeps me more accountable it helps me with my time management and i need all the help i can get with that because if i had better time management i wouldn't be doing 30 or 40 jackets today just saying
this is what I have done for mail time. I've actually only got like 15 minutes to package these, but they're basically all ready to go. They just need to put in the actual poly mailers. Um, so I got the kids shirts done, a monogram shirt, and all these jackets. I still have like eight to go. I do have one, two finished. This one I realized I had a question on um, after it started, so that's going to be fun if they don't get back to me quickly. Um, but then after those, I have eight more to go. Um, I'm going to have to do those once I get these all dropped off at the post office. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining us today. This is our second set of jackets that are going out now on Saturday. Two or three of these you might have saw in the last one, but that I just didn't get packaged in time. But the rest are all ready to go. Um, I did take time to fold them nicely and take some pictures in my light box over there with the <laughs> bright light. Um and package these up and I'm gonna get these to the post office this morning and then I also finished my daughter's birthday dress early this morning too so early morning it's gonna be a long day I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you guys next time thanks